friends, what's up? So, we are continuing off from the last vlog. We are showered. The hair is a little dry. I didn't even, my hair has been like air drying really fast, which I don't know if it's like a good thing or a bad thing, but I can't find my actual comb, that's why I'm using this. And I'm also eating a Jolly Rancher because Jolly Ranchers are delicious. What's your favorite Jolly Rancher flavor? Mine is cherry because it doesn't really taste like cherry. Like Jolly Rancher, Jolly Rancher cherry candy is the only cherry candy I will have. Everything else is disgusting, but their cherry just tastes really good. Doesn't even taste like a cherry. So I'm gonna do my skincare and then it's 8:10. So we're actually just gonna try and organize the makeup today. Like I said, I have given myself until Monday to get all this stuff organized. And I've been doing this thing where, because we're in quarantine, it's been really easy to not follow through with our goals and stuff. I'm gonna use some toner. This is the one that I have in front of me. So yeah, I'm just like, it's easy to not follow through with our goals just because there's like nowhere to go. There's no there's no real like accountability. Like, okay, I'm gonna get up early, but for what? I can't leave the house. I can't go anywhere. So I've been doing this new thing where I'm forcing myself to be accountable and be disciplined and like actually do the things that I want to do. So, or I need to do actually. So even though it's eight o'clock normally, this time, not even lying, after eight o'clock, actually usually when it turns dark, I check out i'm like nope this is done i am not um working anymore as soon as the sun goes down that's just like my mood as soon as it gets dark i'm just like yeah no not happening trying to make myself accountable my eyes are so dry they're like red anyways put on some eye cream some acne medication very very tiny amount just where i feel like i need it don't want it everywhere because my skin's been a little dry I've been using the retinol, but once again, I just use it every other day, so nothing crazy today. Got that on, and then I've been going in with this Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I think I've shown it to you guys before. Focus. And I do like it. I find that my skin isn't as, remember I was telling you guys that it's like all dry and flaky or whatever? I don't feel like my skin is as dry and flaky. It still sometimes is, depending on like how many acne medication and like drying products i used the day before but it's actually like pretty good so just gonna put this on and let it sink in a bit and then we'll go in with another product all right so now that's in my skin i'm gonna go in with um i don't think i'm gonna put on that many crazy products i'm trying to think and i'm pretty sure i was supposed to put on my acne medication after to after my hyaluronic acid it's okay though whatever she happens man all right and then i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of moisturizer and i've been making sure not to skip on this i've actually been doubling it up with a face oil just to make sure my face stays like nice and hydrated then i'm just gonna go in with my wishful rose oil this i actually really like i'm not a fan of the smell um it's not horrible but it's not like yeah, it's not horrible actually like i'm not it's not gonna deter you from using it for sure it doesn't smell like roses though i will say that so i just put this all on my face and then i put this like t at least 20 30 minutes before i'm about to go to bed because otherwise i noticed that obviously when you put an oil on your face it's gonna transfer to your like pillowcase and the most annoying feeling is when you're sleeping we're not sleeping we're trying to sleep and then your face is kind of sticking to the pillow because it's like the oil on here is just the worst feeling ever so anyways that's all i'm gonna do for skincare tonight other nights i basically do the same thing but i'll use put on my hyaluronic acid um my hyaluronic acid serum my eye cream and then my moisturizer and then my retinol and then an oil so that's the only thing that's different okay gonna put this up in a little thing and now let's go to the beauty room and start opening boxes and organizing the mess i'm not excited okay so 
I actually am happy that I didn't get any storage things because I, I'm really happy with this. Okay, I put all my extra stuff in here. Um, just like that was only like extra stuff. So now what I'm going to do is start unboxing everything. And as I go, I will try my best. I feel like I'm going to put all eyeshadows in here. It's the bottom one. And these drawers are really sturdy. So I feel like they'll hold the weight of the eyeshadows. So I'm going to put all my eyeshadow palettes there and then I have an extra eyeshadow palette thing there as well. So I just got an idea, which I want to test out. Give me one second, let me put you guys down. I just got an idea that I actually want to test out. Come with me, my friends. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so I actually want to see if these will fit into this room. See how I have these little square boxes? Oh my god, they fit perfectly! Okay, sorry, that was really annoying. Um, This will be perfect because I can now... Oh my god, this will be perfect. So all my extra makeup of stuff, I will keep them in these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine options. So I have nine of these, and then I also have that top up there. So maybe like another four. Oh my god, that's going to be amazing. Okay, sorry. So now, the goal of not buying drawers was obviously to use what I have. But let me tell you guys what I've done so far. It hasn't been too long. Those are my extra lipsticks. I stuffed all my foundations in here, which I will go through. Trust me, I'm not keeping like 80% of these. I'm going to give them away. But then I also, up here, I have so many, I have two lipstick things stacked. And then another two lipstick things stacked. I have the red lipsticks down here, nudes up here, more nudes. And then I have dark purples down here. And then I have more shades here. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of these. And then get more, not get rid of these, but put this in like those rooms. And then get more of these boxes and put everything in there. And then ideally what I would like to do is this drawer, since this is going to be like my makeup room situation. I want to make this drawer right here the, um, like my go-to bin of makeup that I like to use. So I still have a whole, like I don't have enough drawers. I actually thought I would have enough, but this entire box here is filled with setting sprays so I really need to like kind of figure out where I'm going with this and I think the best way for me to store it is in more things like this in the other room do you get what I mean so you guys always make fun of me actually when I say do you get what I mean or does that make sense because you're like yes Liva everything makes sense but I'm just so used to saying it so um yeah I don't know where we got these from I'm gonna have to ask my mom it might have been from Dollarama, but we went the other day and they didn't have anything. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. I don't know why, I thought I had more room than I ended up having. Um, I already, so this is all done with foundations. Okay, whatever, right? And then this drawer is gonna be full with eyeshadows. I haven't even put them in yet. This drawer was gonna be my go-to makeup. And then up here is just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so freaking fed up. This is the room that's going to take me for sure the longest to do, for sure, for sure, just because there's so many things that I need to figure out. So the only way that I'll be able to do that is if I find now, now at least I know what storage bins to get, whereas before, I didn't really know, like, what storage bins to get, you know, because... How am I supposed to know unless I try to put everything together? So that's fine. It'll get figured out. The last thing that I have to do for my skincare, let me tell you right now, is put on my Revita Lash. Guys, if you are trying to get longer lashes, use Revita Lash. I'm telling you. I started using it like with you guys, like I told you guys when I started. And it is so good. It works. So well, these are my lash. You can't really see my lash. I'm telling you though, because Senna, Zena, my mom, even everyone is like, oh my god, it looks like you have fake lashes on. East just provided lash. I'm not even sponsored by them. I just bought it myself, and then I bought it for my mom as well. 
because my mom has you guys know every time I do my mom's makeup I always complain of her lashes being like really short and not curly or thick so I got it for her because I want to see how it actually turns out on her so that will be fun all right well I'm gonna call it a night I literally thought I was gonna be productive today which what I technically was because if this was any this process would have had to happen on um, other days too you know whatever day I started this Ooh, if I really know I have this skincare and that skincare box also and I really need to get a bed frame but I'm happy living like this with my garbage bags up on the windows Hello friends, good morning. Um, <laughs> I'm very busy, 2019 to 2020. Uh, this book aged really well because it's empty. It, well, this is where I put my recipes. And then look, it's just empty because I thought I was gonna use it. I really did and I was prepared to use it. And it was so cute, but um, yeah. 2020 did not allow it to happen. Um, what am I? What am I saying? So we are about to head out, and um, we are going to. Today's Monday. I didn't vlog yesterday, which was Sunday, but I do want to try my best to upload as many vlogs as possible. Um, tech, like I have time to do them right now because once my challenges start, that you guys know, um, I get really caught up in the challenges. Like that's a lot. That's like the bulk of my work. So um, we are gonna go home. We're gonna work out first, and then I have this Rogers internet modem that I have to return, and then I have to return. This another one from like our other house like my parents house and return that as well So I might as well get that done with today and yeah, I guess we should head out. Oh good thing. I just You remember honestly you guys reminders are the best like you need them in your life Just had a reminder to set out my meat So I'm gonna put that out by the time I come home from working out and returning everything it should be good to go So let's head out all right, so I worked out and now I'm going to, I got this new keychain I wanted to show you guys. I got it off of um, Amazon because finally, after everyone complaining so much, I got rid, not you guys, but my family, especially was there. Um, they really hated that little wallet keychain thing that I had. So I'm switching it out for another one. That one was the best, because now I gotta carry this like huge ass wallet that I don't wanna carry. But you know, it's happening. This new keychain, it looks like this, and it's like a metal, um, like a, a metal cat situation. So I guess it's a bottle opener, and then you can also put it on your knuckles like this. And then apparently, this can shatter glass, but to be honest, I feel like this is not like that sturdy, but it's still cute. And I'm gonna just put my keychain on here now, just because. And now I have a decent keychain. And I also like that this one is a little, it's like flat. So it'll fit into, cause I just putting it, been putting it in my like, um, my side pack, one second. There we go, keychain is here. If I ever wanna punch someone, I got these. And I'm ready to go home. It's two o'clock, oh no, it's three o'clock. I worked out and then we had um, Uzair pranked um, stole like Osama's it was the whole thing you guys got to go watch on his video But like he like took Osama's ring and then we had to look for it and then I also ordered some things It was a whole thing anyways So what I'm gonna do is I have to still shower, but I want to marinate my chicken Before going and showering that way it's ready by the time I'm done because I am starving today I don't know what I'm marinating with today. I won't even lie um, I'm at today. I'm like or right now at least I'm at the point where I'm like hungry, so I kind of just want to get the cooking over with so I don't have to stress about it the rest of the day. So yeah, today I'm just gonna wing it, putting in some chili flakes, some salt, some black pepper, because why not? Some paprika, so okay, I, I already, I should know this, paprika doesn't really have flavor, does it? It's red chili powder that has flavor. And I don't obviously have red chili powder, so that's great. So this is the best that I'm gonna get. Put some garlic, is it garlic powder? 
Um, obviously my favorite, Zeta, cumin. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna, I think for, um, I'm not gonna put yogurt today, I'm just gonna let it kinda chill in the lemon. And then if I want, I can put some yogurt into my wrap if I really want. Well, I started doing the dishwasher and then I was like, might as well cook my food. So I made my chicken. This time, I'm not going to carry the pot because you guys know how the last vlog ended. I was so frustrated that day because nothing was going right. So normally, I warm this on the actual like um, pan, but it has all my chicken in it and I don't really want to take it out and put it in something else. So I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then press start oops that was three seconds still getting used to this really fancy microwave that should be good yeah just like warm nothing too hot oh speaking of hot it is hot in this house oh yeah okay so if you guys remember in the last vlog i think it was i made um the stir fry veggies I have some left over, so I'm actually gonna warm it and then I'm gonna put it in my in my wrap because why not? So I'm gonna warm this for probably 40 seconds and start. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna get my uh, chicken onto here. So I put on half my chicken, which should be about six or so ounces. It doesn't matter how much I eat right now because either way, I've planned my protein out for the day. So I've already cooked all of the protein I need to eat for the day. So now I can section out. And do you guys even care when I talk about this stuff? Just asking. Because if you don't, then obviously I won't talk about it. But if you guys do care about it, then I'll talk about it. It's just a part of my normal stuff, you know? I'm also going to cut up a cucumber and put this on top. So my life has been so much easier since I started making these um, meal prep little things because before every time i would come home you guys know i've been like during the pandemic especially i've been going home all the way to misaga to work out and then i come here so by the time i like get back here if i the days i do come back because a lot of times i stay home but the days i do come back to my house um i'm exhausted not exhausted but lazy by the time that i uh get here so knowing that like my chicken and meat and stuff is ready to go it makes my life a lot easier anyway so gonna pop this on top looks so yummy so i put cucumbers then i'm just gonna put this on top it's gonna be a fat wrap and then i'm gonna save the rest for me to have after then i got some pickled jalapenos i feel like hold on Ugh, come on yes ow me strong okay so i'm just gonna put up some jalapenos because they taste delicious what was i gonna say i was gonna i think i was in the middle of about to start a topic but i don't know i like that you guys have been liking the vlogs the consistency as i said um earlier today once the my my home fat loss challenges are back and running i won't have as much time um to be vlogging every single day i'm still gonna try to keep up for it and especially for vlogmas I'm gonna try, I've never done a full vlogmas ever. I don't think I've even tried to do one. So I'm actually gonna try and see how that goes because I've been having fun just filming my normal days. I don't know why I had stopped. I told, I wasn't like, I'm trying to be in like a routine, you know? So it's hard when there is no routine. There we go, that's what it looks like. I put this Thousand Island dressing on it. It's kind of the only dressing I really had. So I have six to seven ounces of chicken. I got the um, broccoli, onions, green peppers, jalapenos, carrots, cucumbers. I'm gonna wrap it up and eat it and then go shower. Hold on, before I eat, I gotta take a picture and send, my, send it to my mom. Looks delicious. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I really wanna, oh, this wrap, <laughs> I don't think it'll, it's too, like, it won't, it won't freaking shut. I'm gonna try my best to post and continue this. I also wanna get my filming room set up because if you guys follow me on my main Instagram, my bottom ones at the Instagram, I haven't posted on there in like almost a month and it's, it's like giving me so much anxiety because that's what I should be doing. So I just wanna set up the filming 
thing and then uh, then I can focus on the makeup room because that's not like a priority I need to work obviously so yeah now I just always have to make sure that you guys are not under some pot lights got the drill machine here we are ready to do this table hopefully it's a lot faster now oh okay this will make life so much easier hope so hello hi i'm here okay so do you guys know if i where i can get like a pink drill set and i'm not talking about like a a drill set that just looks cute one that actually works like nice and is like heavy duty and stuff because i've been trying to look i think i found one on amazon i just have to check the reviews for it because i want a pink drill set i know there's lime green there's red i would like a pink one okay that's all i'm saying all right, so let's put this bit in. All right, let's see if this works. I don't know if it's gonna fit out my door Actually, I think it might but I don't know It might or it might not. I don't know, but that was a lot quicker than I thought so now I think what I want to do is Take all this stuff to the basement. I'm pretty sure so I'm gonna I can't vlog that cuz it's like a whole thing I have to go from outside and then it's like a whole thing to go so um, and take all these things so I'm gonna take all of this to the basement and then I'll see you guys down there for a little tour there. I don't <laughs> I don't know what to do because okay so I just it's been like what maybe like two hours. I had to stop everything and quickly do some work that came up. Um and now I don't know what to do with myself because I keep going into this room. You guys know what room I'm talking about. This room that I'm dreading. I keep going into it thinking that I'm gonna make a dent or do something and nothing is gonna happen until I figure out my organizing. There's just no way that this is gonna be the way I organize my makeup. There's actually no way that this is it. It just doesn't work. So, I don't know, if you guys have suggestions, let me know, because I'm actually stuck and I for sure do not wanna get extra drawers. This room is already pretty compact and I just, I need the space. It, I don't want it to be cluttered, so I kind of want to just use this situation, those drawers, and then my other closet that I've shown you guys. It's just like, I went to two Canadian tires, two different Canadian tires, two different do Dollaramas to find like any type of containers. And I don't know if it's just organizing season or what, but they're all gone. Like they're literally, I went to a Canadian tire before coming home today and I couldn't find anything. So now I'm a little stuck and, oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys the basement, but um, I'll show you guys that in tomorrow's vlog. I just really wanna get this room over with. And this is the room that takes the longest i saw a comment of uh on my last vlog this vlog that went up today the title of the vlog was oh the haul video and there's one girl who commented that she feels like i will start everything and then stop in between um but you guys see me trying to do it if i don't have the tools that i need to do it obviously i'm gonna stop halfway and not do it you know what i'm saying so, at least i got these stools because at least I can sit down here and do nothing, but at least I can enjoy down here. I also have to get a bed set. Guys, I ha I'm, I'm loafing so hard on this house decoration situation. A few guys told me to watch uh, Mr. Kate and the Sorry Girls. So I actually like, I, I obviously know of them, but I don't watch their videos because I just I like it's cool. Okay, you guys can decorate But that doesn't mean that like I don't know if I'll learn anything, but maybe I should watch I'm seriously trying to figure out 
how to organize this makeup i think i really if you guys have any suggestions like i tried to show you the storage situation the best i can but i just know the way that it's stored right now it's i'm never gonna go in there and actually look for makeup do you get what i'm saying that's why i liked having it in drawers because there would be like a variety of things in front of me and then i could pick different brands and stuff so i feel like yeah i don't know but i just need help help me <laughs> I'm truly going crazy. I think we're gonna go on week three of me having this house and <laughs> I haven't really made much progress <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I made myself a snack. It is the um, Oikos Strawberry yogurt with some of these roasted salted nuts on top and then I'm just gonna go and edit a vlog because why not?